Hi, Amari. My name is Crystal Jordan and I'm with Rolling Out and I'm so excited to talk to you today. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. How are you? I am awesome. Um, I am actually a big fan of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> I remember um, one of my mentors gave me the book like when I was in middle school. And so I want, I'm wondering because the book came out before I was born. So I can't even imagine how you would, if you even knew about the book or if you'd read it, but did you have a chance to, to see the book or read the book before your audition? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get to read the book till after I got to the shooting location. Okay. Okay. So what did you think of the book? Because this story is a coming of age story about young girls. And I think it like goes across like cultural barriers, just things that all young women deal with. But what was your, what was your impression of the book reading something that was written in 1970 all the way in 2023? <laughs> I, I actually really loved the book and it gave me, like, it gave me a little more help on like what the character Janie was like yeah so I I really enjoyed reading the book and I um got to see how everyone's character was not just my character but I got to see how everyone's character was and how how Janie would do certain things or how she would say certain things yeah well I know for like I said I'm a big fan of the book and you've obviously read the book and this movie is coming out um on Friday but for people that aren't familiar with the with the characters and the cast can you tell people a little bit about your character Janie that's really good friends with main character Margaret my character Janie she is a very bubbly personality she's also pretty shy mm -hmm. um she has really fun being around her friends she has a really fun time um she is a little bit of a nerd <laughs> okay um, but she enjoys hanging out she also enjoys doing her work mm -hmm. she looks like that type of person <laughs> and um she just she knows how to make things a fun time. She knows how to turn things into a fun time when it's not at the appropriate setting. Yeah. <laughs> well, a big piece of this book is like puberty. And like I said, this is something that all young ladies go through. I'm wondering just from your perspective, what do you think is like one of the most challenging things? If we were to kind of compare Janie to Amari, are there any things that Amari is dealing with going, you know, being this age where you're kind of becoming a young woman, still kind of, you know, just going through that transitional phase? Any any commonalities between Amari and Janie? Um our hair is very <laughs> similar. Our hair is very similar. Okay. Um, we both um we, we're both Christian, actually. Okay. We're both Christian. Um, in oh, I can't say that. I can't spoil it. Um, um, oh, a good um, question. Um, we're both pretty kind, and um, we're both not really that social. We're okay. both a little more on the shy side when it comes to being social. Mm -hmm. A little more harder for us to be social. Um, but when we we, we will try we will try to be social and then that just depends on the other person if they're <laughs> social or not yeah um, we... well let me let me ask you this because this 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 book really was meant to like help girls going through that phase of like waiting some girls you know develop early Others don't, some are waiting on it. Some have it happen. <laughs> it happens and they're not ready. You know, everybody's like, you know, liking, um, you know, wanting to be in romantic relationships, waiting on, you know, figuring out when is your, your menstrual cycle going? Like, it's just stuff that everybody deals with. What would be your message or what message do you hope that young girls that go see this movie? Um, because I know this is going to be a huge hit because the book was so successful. What do you think the main message is from Janie and Margaret and all the other, the, the teen sensations, crew to girls today that are dealing with the same issues? Um, I feel like in the movie, Nancy makes it very um, clear that she has a bigger chest than the rest of the girls. And mm -hmm. she tries to um, have them do exercises to get to that, 
to get to where she is yeah. but um when in reality everyone is different and it you don't if your body is moving at a slow pace that is just fine and if it's moving at a faster pace that is just fine as well mm -hmm. everyone is different and everyone is going through the same changes but in different ways right. so I um I would want young females to know that um it's okay, like, however your body is changing, or if your menstrual cycle comes late, or if it doesn't come late, if it comes early, it's, it's, it's okay, it's perfectly fine, and it's all natural. Yeah, I like that, because this, this show, like you said, the movie shows different girls is happening at different times, doing we must, we must, we must increase our bust is not going to make it happen faster. Um, yes. Tell us what was like some of the fun, what was one of the funniest moments for you? Because the book is, is very comical. It allows people to really laugh and relate to when either you were that age or if you're that age now, but what is like one of the funniest memories that you have um, from filming or even from looking at the script and thinking this is going to be fun to film? Um, the funniest moment was when, um, the group of girls were in Margaret's room looking at an anatomy book. Mm -hmm. That scene was so funny and it was very hard for us all to stay in character because when our actual sides wanted to come out, but that's not how our character was going to appear on screen mm -hmm. so um we all I think we all did a really great job pulling it together and just reacting to the <laughs> reacting to the book how our characters would react but that was a really funny scene to film well that's good to know that you guys still there was still some girlishness in there <laughs> that might not have been exactly as it was written <laughs> Um, what do you think is just, you know, like I said, it's a lot different now in 2023 because social media is around. And so now girls can compare themselves, not just to people that they're in school with, but also like people that they see online, people that they see on TikTok or that they see on Instagram or, um, or Snapchat. So what do you think is like something that you would suggest to girls um, that may be comparing themselves. And I know you mentioned earlier, like everyone's going through it at the same time, but what is maybe something that you do to kind of help yourself stay grounded and not get caught up in comparing yourself to other people on social media? Um, that's a really good question. Something that I do is just, I remind myself that I'm in a different stage than the um, females on TikTok or on my social media are on. So um, I I usually just like, I, first of all, I used to think, I used to have that mindset, but I, I don't have that mindset anymore. If I see that someone is more developed than me, I'll just, I'll just blow it off to the side because most likely it'll be someone that is older than me and who have experienced most of those changes, but then you have to you have to remember that they're older than you. Absolutely. So your body will get to that point. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. But you just have to remember that um just it's it's really not good to compare yourself to other people because you are your own person. Yeah. So when you compare yourself to other people, that makes you think um poorly of yourself when in reality you shouldn't be thinking that way at all. Absolutely. All right. Well, before we get out of here, let people know where they can see. Um, Are you there? God is me, Margaret. And tell us why they need to definitely check it out on Friday. You can see Are You There, God, Team Margaret in theaters on April 28th. And you should definitely go see the movie because it talks about so many, so many things that a lot of um, young ladies are dealing with today. And it's a very funny it's, it's, it's a comedy. It's very funny. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Amari. We wish you so much luck and we'll definitely be checking out. Are you there? God is me, Margaret on Friday. Thank you. We'll see.